so low the joy will grow we all love plants right just think once of raising plants by pouring all your love on it yes nothing matches the reward that they will give at last the joy will be yours growing plants all by your own rather than purchasing it from nursery will give you the opportunity to enjoy every stages of its growth from seed starting to its maturity hello everyone welcome back to trust basket this is neha Today in this video I am going to let you know the different means of propagation of succulents that are everyone's favorites too. Before that it would be better if you know everything about succulents. I have already made a video on succulent scale, repotting and the requirements. If you haven't watched it, please do click on the above link and watch the complete video. Like other plants, succulents can also be grown from seeds. But it is a time consuming process. It may take few weeks to a year, so I don't want to go for that. When compared to seeds, the leaf propagation and stem cutting propagation makes our work easier. So in this video, I'll show the propagation of succulents by using their leaves and stem cuttings. Let's get started with the leaf propagation first. Propagation of succulents to leaves and stem cuttings can be done by using soil as a medium and also water as a medium. I'll show both the ways here. For that, we need to collect the leaves and stem cuttings from the healthy mother plant. which is disease free and stress free because the selection itself affects the further growth of the plants here i am going to propagate the leaves of sedum adolfi and echeveria plant because i want to have some more similar plants i am collecting bottom leaves as they are matured ones when compared to young leaves as you can see here to collect the leaves just give a slight twist leaves will come in your hand So in the same way I am collecting leaves from Echeveria also. Here I am collecting the bottom leaves which are matured. Make sure you are collecting leaves with its petiole. This is without petiole, this is with petiole. I have just collected these many leaves. using this tray for propagation of leaves you can observe here this tray has many number of drainage holes you can go for other shallow containers but make sure it has good number of drainage holes because the container without drainage holes may leads to water clogging water clogging will results in rotting of the leaves so it is better to use the container which has good number of drainage holes here i am using cocopeat as a growing media you can also use soil that is well drained and fertile I'm placing these leaves on this bed of cocopeat and slightly pushing the bottom of the leaves in the cocopeat. Cocopeat has the ability to hold the moisture for longer time, so misting is enough here. So now let me show you another means of propagation that is stem cuttings. We can use soil and water as a medium here, but I am going to show the water as a medium because I found out it is much easier. Now let me show you stem cutting propagation of succulents. Here I am going to collect few stem cuttings from this jade plant. While collecting stem cuttings, do find a healthy stem without any disease or something pest infestation. While collecting stem cutting, find a node of a healthy stem. You can take around five to six centimeter length of a stem. I'll be using water as a medium so I'm just pruning these bottom most leaves because when we place this stem in water it may catch rotting I'm 
filling this container with normal tap water. I am using this glass container because I can easily observe day to day growth of these stem cuttings. Here I can't place these stem cuttings directly in the water because it may sink in the water. So I am using this normal transparent polythene to cover this opening of the container. You can use rubber band or cello tape. To place these stem cuttings, I am just making two holes here. While placing these stem cuttings in water, Make sure at least two of these nodes are submerged in the water like this. You can plant the stem cuttings once after they initiate the roots in the soil. Leaves and stem cuttings take two weeks to a month to root and become established enough that you can plant them in the soil. It's been one month of propagation of succulents. The propagated leaves began rooting after 13 days and the propagated stems began rooting after 17 days. You can clearly notice the roots which are growing from the bottom of the leaves but in stem cuttings there is no development of roots yet. You can observe all the new offsets which are developed from the leaves and the roots which are developed from the stem cuttings. As it's been one month, the roots and offsets are clearly visible. I kept both the tree and the container near the window side in order to provide sufficient amount of indirect sunlight but not direct sunlight. And I kept misting the coco peat once in a day or whenever the coco peat looked dry. So it's time to transplant these propagated leaves and stem cuttings in another container because they need sufficient room for their further growth. Sometimes you may observe the shriveled mother leaves but that is totally okay as they are providing their nutrients to the newly developing roots and offsets. Choose the container which has drainage holes and the soil should be well drained and loosely packed. It's better to select the soil which is particularly made for succulents. Before placing the leaves, water the soil thoroughly. Place the leaves on the soil surface by gently pressing the bottom part of it into the soil, but don't hurt offsets. So viewers, try these simple techniques at your home and enjoy your plant's growth. This is not a rocket science. All you need is some simple tips that I have already given you. I hope you enjoyed the complete video. If so, hit the like button, share and subscribe to our channel Trust Basket. I'll come with many more interesting topics in further sessions. Until then, keep following Trust Basket.